Hello again, everyone. I've got more photos to show you. If you've got a photo of the storm and you want to send it in, post it to my Facebook page. You'll see hundreds of photos posted. Thanks for sending those in, by the way. And Robin Card sending this picture in from Middleton. A beautiful blanket of snow. Wonderful if you don't have to drive in it, right? Really turned out to just be amazing outside. Kids loving it. Get outside to do some sledding with that deep blanket of snow in Napa as well. At least six to eight inches, some places close to nine. Here's another picture from Mountain Home. That's a nice deep blanket of snow around as well. And Another picture from Napa. A little snow blowing going on here as well. This is a common scene around the region. Uh, this is a handy device to have because shoveling, yeah, you got to be careful when you're out there shoveling. Take it easy. Don't do too much of it, right? Uh, I 84 Garrity, icy conditions this morning disappearing. Last night I drove down this interstate after work and there was over six inches of snow. The plows were not to be found. I think they were waiting for most of the snow to finish. It came down so heavy so quickly. And then as ITD typically does, beautifully clearing the roads very nicely and uh, conditions will continue to improve as long as they don't have any more precipitation, which should be the case until we get to around Wednesday. So here's some other shots here. What it looked like during the day. Cherry Lane in black hot, dry here. This is an older picture, for, I think, from Fairview and Five Mile. It's gotten a little bit a little bit better than that. And you still see some, again, those secondary ar arteries still have uh, snowy areas, especially turning the corners, parking lots. Just be careful when you're heading out there. This morning, this is what it looked like on Front Street. And then through time, you see getting a little bit better on the the roadways there, not so bad, but temperature still only at 21. Frigid air mass is starting to slide to the east, and we're seeing a little bit milder weather trying to nudge its way in from the west, getting to 30 in Caldwell today. But our low pressure system, I should redraw this, it's already rocketing to the east. There's the snow we had last night is going through Memphis, Tennessee this hour. That's pretty impressive with that storm system moving very quickly. Dry flow of air coming in from the northwest, but this low pressure right here, a little storm system's energy is going to come down and it's going to tap into this moisture here. And that moisture is going to track in our direction, and you'll see it right in here. So this is the moisture. We'll put it into motion. It's going to start pushing towards the northeast here. You see a storm system forming with it right in here. Now we're pushing ahead to Monday, Tuesday, and this is now Wednesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. So you could wake up Wednesday morning with another little shot of snow coming across the region on top of what's there now, which will settle a little bit over the next couple of days. But the Magic Valley, you've got snow coming in likely, and same thing for the Treasure Valley and for the mountains, a little bit more snow with the storm system. Skiers are going to do pretty good with the storm as it comes in. In fact, this is what the National Weather Service showed. I think it's going to show up here. It comes from popping in two and a half now to 3.7 inches is what the chart is showing. So this is a, a nice little change here for the mountains. A little bit more snow for the ski area is good news. You see the high, higher elevations to the south. We'll see that snow. But for the Treasure Valley, a good three to maybe four inches of snow and maybe three inches in Twin Falls. Again, that's Tuesday night into Wednesday morning possibly through the middle part of the day. For the McCall area, there's the snow coming in on Wednesday again. Look at these cold temperatures Monday and Tuesday, but look at this warm-up potentially going to 37 degrees by Friday. My Scott score for the day tomorrow, it will be cold in the morning. I'll give it a four, but if we get a little sunshine tomorrow afternoon, that may make it a six. So I'm going to average with a five just because it's still pretty cold out there and it's a little uncomfortable having to deal with all the snow, right? Temperatures in the single digits tomorrow should be the coldest morning. And then we're going to warm up to near 20 throughout the valley. It might get a little warmer in some places to the west. There's a chance of sunshine, but again, low clouds and fog might block all that out. We'll have to see how the afternoon shapes up. If the sun comes out, it should be really pretty tomorrow afternoon. There you're seeing the central mountains, about 19 degrees in McCall, 27 in Riggin. Sun Valley, you should hit 22 tomorrow. A lot of sunshine, a cold easterly wind in the northern Magic Valley and on the Camas Prairie up here as well. Highs in the teens for the Magic Valley, and so that's going to keep it on the cold side and throughout the day. There you see the snow coming in for the Magic Valley and the Wood River Valley on Wednesday, and then more precipitation mixed over the weekend. Treasure Valley forecast, you see it right here. Scott scores dipping down on Thursday as some snow comes in, but we could top 40 degrees by the upcoming weekend. Those temperatures warming up.